This is a this is a deadly island. Hey, if you want to visit the beautiful Isla Ungabunga or whatever I call it, you can uh, you can come too. Yeah, they've made this whole thing in World Painter. It's a it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful tropical island with a uh, big volcano, a bunch of caves, uh, uh, mysteries, secrets, all sorts of stuff. It's, it's good. This world's available for download uh, on my Patreon, so it's a way for me to give you something for support. Hold up. I can just teach you how to make this island. We're gonna make our own Isla Unga Bunga, or whatever you call it. Hey everyone, today I'm making Forge Labs 100 Days in Minecraft Island in World Painter. I've been getting tons of requests on Reddit, Planet Minecraft, and Discord to make detailed tutorials on how I make everything. So here you go, guys. If you're new to all this World Painter stuff, check the description. A lot of useful download links and everything is included there. So you're gonna go to World Painter, you're gonna start with New World. And uh, I'm going to be going over this real quick, so try to keep up, guys. <laughs> I'm recording this all in one go, and it might not be pretty. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to keep the level down, water level up, and I think this is all good. We're going to create a world. Um, let's see. Uh, I want to see a 3D view, so we'll show that. Kind of scale it down so that we can just kind of see what's going on. And this is more for you guys. I don't really use this too much, the 3D view. Uh, because I think the top-down view gives a really good representation. So here we go. Uh, so yeah. Now we're going to start creating the island. I'm going to hit the rays. Uh, all these brushes here you can that I'm using you can find in the downloadables at the uh, description. So, you know, we're just going to start raising islands around here, all like that, more like in an island shape. And here we go. Uh, you can middle click and scroll to rotate it like how I'm doing right now. That's the hotkey. And then I also have like scroll in and scroll out hotkeys as well. Uh, let's see. Now that we have our islands created, we're just going to create a sort of some mountains in the middle. Very nice mountains, uh, you know, all islands, kind of like that uh, survival series. And I think we, maybe we can make the island a little bigger, actually. Probably would look nicer. So there we go. We uh, got sort of an island look. Uh, we're going to move on to making the volcanoes now. Uh, I'm going to choose the highest part. And we're just going to flatten that out up top here. Keep it as circular as possible. There we go. That works. And then we'll also do it here as well. Kind of raise it up. And it's about at 180. Then we'll flatten it. There we go. And now around the volcanoes, we're also going to raise it because, you know, it just kind of sticks out too much. It's a bit too steep in my opinion. We do want players to be able to travel and traverse it. So we're just going to kind of want to go around here, you know, raise the area around it a little bit. <laughs> Make it more uh, realistic, I'd say. You know, don't go for too realistic because it is Minecraft after all, and you do want it to uh, be interesting for the player to explore. You know, we're just going to smooth out this area a little bit right around here. And uh, we're also going to smooth out the top here. Here we go. Okay. I think this is pretty good. Uh, now we're going to make the hole inside the volcano that stores the lava. Not sure what that's called. Uh, you know, we'll just do this. There we go. Then uh, make a little hole here. Forgot to flatten this out. Let's flatten that here. There we go. Right click. And flatten. Alright, so this island's looking pretty good. We already got the terrain down. Now we're going to texture the terrain. So you're going to go here. Uh, you could use World Painter's default beaches, but I don't want to do that. Um, I am just going to create my own. So we need sand and probably some clay. Find that. Clay, 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 clay. Did I pass it, perhaps? Here we go. Clay and gravel. Gotta have gravel on your beaches as well. Gravel. There we go. Uh, we're gonna do it as blobs. Uh, we're gonna increase the amount of sand, uh, amount of gravel, too. Uh, we're gonna increase the scale of it. 
And there we go. That should make a good beach. Uh, I can always come back and edit it later. And now we're going to, uh, I think water level is 62. Let me just check that real quick. You can check in the bottom left. Yes, it is. So, we're going to do adder below. 65, I think that'd be good. Then we're just going to switch to a brush. And just, oops, didn't check that. Here we are. And now we got that, we're going to add some rocky terrain as well. So, we're going to use the pre-built-in uh, World Painter Rocky Terrain. Um, wherever it is. Here we are. So, that'll be at or above. Maybe, uh, I think 80 is good. And uh, we're going to do... Above 45 degrees. So now that we got kind of stone, stone like, I think we should lower that actually to maybe 30 degrees. There we go. Now we got more of a stony look. And the steeper it gets, I'm going to make it darker. So at 40, maybe we'll have like terracotta or something like that. So if we have light gray, maybe cyan. Yeah, light gray will work. Then we'll have that. And then even steeper at 50 degrees, we'll have dark gray. Or just normal gray. I don't know why I call it dark gray. Right, and at the very top, I think we'll have obsidian. So we got obsidian. Um, can't really do a degree for that, so we'll just kind of look at the uh, height range of that. It's above 180, so at or above 180. Whoops. There we go. Obsidian. Maybe we'll lower that a bit so that it covers well. <laughs> and we'll also do that here. Uh, right here, it's 160. 60, I think so. No? Lower. Here we are. Okay. So I think that looks good for now. Um, you can always go back and change it later. So, a pretty uh, decent looking terrain, I think. Um, we're going to save that. And uh, we're going to add trees now custom objects and I have a bunch of trees that I've downloaded off the uh, world painter reddit actually uh, if you want to learn uh, more about world painter and all that just go to reddit and stuff like that and uh, you know it's uh, pretty cool a lot to learn a lot of useful download links I'm gonna I'm gonna include the download links to trees in this below so I'm just kind of looking for uh, more jungle-like trees right now. <clears throat> Got tons of trees here. So, nah, we're not going to use these. <laughs> kind of looking through the files, getting the perfect trees, you know? Okay. These will be the perfect palm trees, I think, on the side. Fire palm. There we go. Okay, we'll use these on like kind of the outskirts of the island and then on the inside of the island. We'll use another one, so. If I can get some jungle trees. go through it look for islands um, honestly maybe we can mix it with palms and jungle that'd probably be best so we'll do this 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 uh, not that don't want 
too much. Palm. Alright, I think it's best. So I'm gonna rename this. We're just gonna color it. I'll just remember that blue is the sort of inside of the island. That's the outside. We'll also increase the objects. I think uh, 30 would be best. We're gonna be using 100%, I think 40, so. And then here, um, I think one per 60 would be good. So we'll do that, set to that. And I'm um, noticing this video is actually double length. Uh, it just kind of takes a while to just look through everything. So, you know, hope you don't mind. Longer tutorial. <laughs> so we're going to have this only on terrain grass. Because we need it on grass only. Don't want it on rocks and uh, trees and stuff. That'll look weird. So you want to be very careful. You want to just kind of edge it around. Um, you can try using height. Uh, I'm actually going to use that. I'm going to restrict my height. So add her below. 90. That's good. Here we are. Kind of go around. Uh, it's a bit sloppy, but you know, I'm just trying to be fast. I don't want it up on that hill. There we are. And then on the inside of the island, we're going to have these trees. And if they overlap, if they overlap a little bit, that's fine. Uh, it's really not an issue. In fact, I'd prefer if it overlaps because it kind of sets like a border between the uh, island and the outside. So here we are, and yeah, I think that looks good. Now we're going to fill the volcanoes with lava. Uh, you can simply uh, just click on the lava up here. Uh, select an area and boop there you go you got lava and more lava and here we are we got a sort of tropical island uh, I think we're also going to add some plants and stuff so um, hmm. I'm just considering how should I add it I don't know we're uh we're just gonna render it actually. Uh, I might put some few trees on this island, and then should be good. Boop. There we are. And then some are on the outside as well. Okay, looking good. Now um, since the whole map is not. Not really grass, uh, or it is grass. We should probably use uh, corporations to uh, change the rest. So add her below 62, only on water. And then we're gonna fill the terrain with our custom, just sand, gravel, and clay. There we go, I filled it all. And now we're going to export it and we're going to take a look at how it looks. So, you know, you can add caves and stuff, um, just caves everywhere. Uh, make sure it doesn't break the surface because that's going to cause a lot of bugs. Uh, flood caves. Let's see. We'll have minimum level of caves. We'll set the 5. This will be 12. I'll also set this 12. And then we'll flood at level 8 so that lava kind of peeks through. So, yeah. Uh, set the creative, loud sheets, and that looks good. We're gonna export it, so it's gonna be generating a Minecraft map, and uh, you know we'll take a look at it when it's done. All right, so now that the world has rendered, uh, you can check it out. Um, I'm in spectator mode right now. 
Uh, it's very important that you keep in mind that your first render is not going to be perfect. In fact, on your first render, you need to be very critical of yourself, which can be hard for some people. Um, so, a lot of stuff you need to look around. So, for example, like, there's too many palm trees, like, in the middle here. Like, that's a mistake I made. Uh, also, the obsidian, it's, like, kind of a flat line here. Uh, we can probably fix that later with more work. Um, lava, too. Just... This volcano, like, the tip looks looks kind of weird. Looks kind of out of place, in my opinion. But, um, we also got, uh, the clay area. There's a bit too much clay, in my opinion. We could probably have another type of clay, like, running up and down it more. Uh, that's also an easy fix. And, uh, you know, let's look around. I think the beaches could be smoothed out more. Um, Honestly, we could also add more uh, vegetation here. Uh, I know I skipped over that. We're just using the default world painter vegetation. And some of the trees I use have fences. I'm personally not a fan of that. I'd probably remove the trees with fences on them. Uh, let's see. What else can we critique here? Um, there's no plants in the ocean. And also, uh, let's take a look at the caves. Uh, the caves, I think we actually messed up on the lava. There's supposed to be lava at the bottom here. Um, I probably decided to fill it with water instead of lava. I think I forgot to check that box. That's okay, honestly. So, for a first attempt, this is pretty good. But, uh, that's just kind of a small list of just things right off the bat I see that are kind of wrong with this train. And uh, it's very important to have a critical eye, uh, be very critical of yourself because uh, kind of just make a list of what you need to fix on a notepad. So, you know, I would put caves, no lava, you know, volcanoes look weird. You know, I just list down beaches could be larger and blend with island better, remove fence trees. Uh, add more trees and remove palm trees on inland. And change terrain terracotta. So those are just notes that I just came off like right off the top of my head. Actually there's a few more I could add. Probably add aquatic plants add more plants there we go but aside from that um i think this turned out pretty well so if this video gets a lot of likes uh, i'll probably make a part two on improving this island um this is also going to be kind of a prelude to another video i'm making where i actually make a island just like this uh, someone commissioned me and you are free to commission me too. If you join my Discord, uh, you can just shoot me a message. We can talk about, you know, just kind of anything, just build related. If you want to order a build from me or if you want to, like, you know, share tips, uh, talk around the Discord. Uh, I'm happy to talk with you guys. Uh, a lot of other people are in there too. A uh, couple of them are from the World Painter community from Reddit, so you can talk with them as well. And uh, aside from that, I think that's all for this video, so I'll see you guys later. This is Lurfing, over and out.